When our next guest was 12, his mom offered him $1,800 to stay off social media until he turned 18. She called it the 18 for 18 challenge, and it worked. He just recently joined social media for the very first time on his 18th birthday. From Motley, Minnesota, please welcome Siebert and his mom, Lorna. I can't believe you fell for that, Siebert. Yeah, neither can I. <laughs> okay, oh. so you were 12 or 13, I'm sorry? 12, 12 you years were, old. Okay, and, and Lorna, you, you, how did you come up with this idea? And it was brilliant, by the way. Well, I will not take all the credit. I was in the car, heard something on the radio of a 16 for 16 challenge, and I don't remember the specifics, but I remember thinking, I wonder if this might be something that would work for Siebert and for social media. He does have three older sisters. We had kind of had varying success navigating social media with them. Um, some challenges with self-esteem and feeling yeah. badly, and it was difficult. And so I was hoping to come up with a way to encourage him to stay off it for a little bit. So I came into the house and said, Seaver, would you ever stay off social media or wait to start until you were 18 if I paid you $1,800? <laughs> <laughs> and you think at, you, at 12 years old, $1,800, it's a lot of money. Yeah, it was, it was insane. I was like, oh, of course. Uh, any sane person would do this. Right, right. No, I was, I was, I was all in. I was like, I'm going to get a house. Uh, I'm going to get a car. No, and I was like, maybe I don't have to work right away. Maybe take a little time off. But it was, it was crazy. I was like, I had three older sisters that were all around 18. And I was like, six years, oh, easy money. I got this. Right. Yeah. Okay. You didn't teach him the value of money. I did, did not do a yeah. good job today. <laughs> you didn't know how much those things no, cost. No. Okay. So w did you ever give up? Did you ever think, you know what, I, you know, like even close to the end, like when you were 17, did you, did you feel like <laughs> I don't need to do this for $1,800? <laughs> yeah. So freshman year uh, is when all my friends started getting jobs, right? And so like, I remember one time my friend walked up to me with his first paycheck and he's like, Seaver, I just got 1800 bucks. And I was like, huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't quite understand. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So then sophomore year, I think I was really like, oh, like, this would be a really fun way to keep up with my friends. And I just get to see all the connections they were making. But at that point, I had invested like three years. So I was like, no way I'm giving up. Otherwise, it was for nothing. So I was like, no, I'm sticking it out. Wow. Well, good for you. I mean, were you surprised he stuck it out all the way to 18? Um, I, I wasn't surprised that he stuck it out. I mean, we did have the advantage that he wasn't on social media before we started this challenge. So I was just asking him to hold off starting. Right. So, but I knew he was very interested in money at the time, as you can tell. Yeah. And um, he's also extremely competitive. So I felt like maybe setting it up as a challenge, he was maybe going to take the bait. Super and he did. Super smart. Super smart. <laughs> and, and, and so you said your friends were on on social media and they were all connecting. Did you feel like, was there anything that you heard them talking about and you thought, I'm missing out, I'm not seeing this, I, I don't know what they're talking about? Oh yeah, no, I was always, I mean, I had no idea what trends were going on. Um, <laughs> always a step behind, I mean, and I felt like as soon as I started to kind of understand, right, moved on to the next one, right? <laughs> um, and like slang and stuff, no idea what's going on. I tried to use like context clues. <laughs> Um, but most of the time, I messed up, and they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and what did they think? Did they know you weren't on social media? Yeah, uh, they all knew, like, right away when they're 12. They're like, oh, awesome. But um, nobody really cares. I mean, everybody's like, oh, it's, it's fine. Did you find that you had more of an attention span than your friends did because they were on social media? Did you, did you notice a difference between, like, eye contact and socialization? I did. I th <laughs> did you? Oh, for sure. I bet. For sure. I mean, I just think kids are so distracted, and he was very, he's able to usually. Focus. Uh, yeah, focus. <laughs> yeah. So, so now you, you've joined. Yes, yes. OK. So it, First what, thing on his 18th birthday. That is true. Like 6 a.m. Yeah, so uh, 18th birthday, I wake up, I download Instagram, and I call my older <laughs> sister, Millie. And I said, Millie, you're kind of a wizard guru. Um, will you help me craft my first post? So I called her, and uh, it ended up. It's me when I was six, holding me like a firework, I think. Uh, and it says, how I feel about my new Instagram. Because I just thought that'd be, I thought that'd be a little funny. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, that's your first post? Yeah, that's it. Have you posted nothing else? No, that's it. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, those are your next posts. Oh, absolutely. All right, and I'm going to follow you on Instagram. <laughs> All right, we have a new challenge for
Steve, but after this, we'll be right back. We're back with Steve with the silent T and his mom, Lorna. Is there an A on the end? There is an A. All right, yes. all right. So, Steve, uh, we wanted to give you a chance to earn some money. Uh, nice. More than $1,800. <laughs> In six years, you've missed out a lot of viral challenges on social media, so we thought we'd put you to the test. At a couple of new challenges. It's Ellen's Viral Challenges Challenge. <laughs> so you'll have 45 seconds uh, to do three viral challenges. For each one you complete, you'll earn $1,800. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> OK, OK. So the bottle flip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cup challenge. Looks pretty easy. Um, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> it's not. All right, head on over. You have 45 right. seconds. So the first one is the whipped cream. I'm sorry right. I didn't explain it first. So uh, start the clock. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Sure. You want to take the top off the whipped cream? Yeah, it's a little competitive event. All right, go. Or fever. Ah! <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. This is the one. Nope, it's not the one. No, it's not. Come on. Nope. <laughs> All right. That's okay. That was impressive. Thank you. This was impressive. All right. You completed two, but we wanted to round that up. I partnered with Tisbest, and they want to give you ten thousand dollars to put towards your college education. So One more thing. Tis Best charity gift cards are a better gift for any occasion. They also want to give you $5,000 as a gift card to donate to the charity of your choice. Oh, thank you so much. To experience the true power of giving, visit tisbest.org. I want to thank Lily Tomlin, Charlize Glass. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. I send it back to you. Take it and spread it around in the world. Bye.